You know, all this bad weather over Christmas has made me really realize with all the highway closures, accidents, canceled flights, why don't we have high speed rail in North America? Trains don't care about snow, wind, rain, nothing. They're gonna go. Put a plow on the front, send it through the snow. It's on rails, where's it going? Let's have a look at the rest of the world. This is what China gets for high speed rail on there. All those do over two to 300 kilometers an hour. This is what Europe gets for high speed rail. Look how much rail they have. Since 2008, China has built over 40,000 kilometers of high speed rail. North America in the US only has 80 kilometers of high speed rail total. And it can only do 240, it can't even reach the 300 that China can. This is all we have for passenger rail in North America and only 80 kilometers of that is high speed. Which means all the rest of this is this super slow 80 kilometer an hour passenger trains. I'm on the Coquihalla right now because I got to go down to Vancouver for a meeting and I got to drive three and a half hours down, three and a half hours back. That's seven hours of my day in this snowstorm. Why can't I just do 300 kilometers an hour and get there? Like why in North America don't we invest any more in our infrastructure? This highway was built in 1984 and that's the last highway that we built in BC. That's the last new highway 40 years ago and no upgrades since then. This highway closes all the time due to weather and accidents. And then we have Highway 8, which is a bypass, but they close that when this one closes because Highway 8 can't handle the traffic volume of the Coke. But are they gonna improve Highway 8 so it can be used as an effective detour? No, you're just stuck with this highway we built 40 years ago and that's gotta be adequate for now. Look, from 2008 to 2020, so a much shorter time over just 12 years, this is how much China has built in high-speed rail why aren't we doing any of this? If we actually built infrastructure like high-speed rail, you could get between Edmonton to Calgary in just one hour. Hop on the train, half hour later, you're in Red Deer. Half hour later, you're in Calgary, you're at your destination. Like the government keeps preaching to us about climate change, go buy an electric car. Don't worry about the lithium iron battery mining. If you care about the environment, drive an electric car. So I went and looked up the emissions for different ways of traveling. And this is per kilometer driven in grams of CO2 emissions. In flight, which is our only high speed option if you need to get somewhere in a hurry, 255. Driving a car, 170. Electric car brings it down to 53 if you don't worry about the lithium. But a train, and this is just your local slow speed train, 41. Eurostar, which is high speed rail, six. It's literally 10 times less emissions to go with high speed rail over the electric car. And then you talk about comfort, you can't beat the train. Instead of driving, I could be getting work done on my computer. Or what about self-driving cars? That's gonna be the future. Trains are already self-driving, you don't have to do anything. This is what the interior looks like for high-speed rail in China. You can sit, relax, go to the bar, have a drink, a snack. So why is it we don't build any infrastructure in North America anymore? Why don't we have high-speed rail? Why do we settle for second best?